In this video, I'm giving away this completely free template for you to create AI videos on autopilot using the no-code software N8N and the video model Seed Dance, which is the number one AI video generator according to this leaderboard, ahead of Holio 2, VO3, Kling, Midjourney, and all of the new rivals. So here's some footage of what Seed Dance can make. As you can see, just a few months ago, probably everyone would have thought this is completely real footage, but now the stakes are so much higher. I already have a video on VO3, so you can go check that out, link in the description if you want to automate using that. I also have one on Halio, and that is why I'm doing this new one on Seed Dance, because the rankings are saying it is number one, and it's also a lot more affordable than VO3. Now, one thing you'll notice is Seed Dance 1 Pro does not do audio, but we can use another AI model, and my automation already covers for that. All right, and here is the model. As you can see, Seed Dance 1.0 Pro text to video. That's the one I'm going to be using in my video. However, you can easily switch that out with any of these. Uh, there's four models, two for text to video, two for image to video. Uh, they both work pretty well, and then we have the light version and the pro version. So for the pro version, we're looking at about 74 cents for a 1080p resolution 5 second render. And then if we go over to the light version, you'll see that the cost is only 18 cents. So they have an affordable option, and then they have a quality option. For this video, I'm going to be using the pro version, text to video. And one cool thing that I want to show you guys if your plan is to not make a ton of videos, you can really simply just go to this URL. The link will be in the description because we're also using it for the API. It's fal.ai. If you watch any of my videos, you probably recognize it. You can easily sign in with Google, make an account, load it up with a little bit of credits, and then you can use these little playground pages to do all your prompting here. So you just put your prompt in here and then you can choose all your settings, which is really cool about this model. You can actually switch it from landscape to vertical or square, whatever you want, which is something that VO3 cannot do. And then you can also switch the resolution. I believe if you make it lower, it will cost you less. And then you have duration of 5 seconds or 10 seconds. And once you run the model right here, you can just download it here, and you don't even need to use the N8N interface. And now we're back to the fun stuff, N8N no-code automations. As you can see, this template that I'm providing to you completely for free that you will be able to import by going to N8N, starting a new project, going to these three dots, hitting import from file, downloading my file from the description, you'll get to this where you'll have the entire automation and I'll teach you how to set it up. The first thing we're going to talk about is the test workflow node. So this just starts by hitting this button right here, and it will run your automation one time. It's pretty simple. However, if you want it to be a little bit more complicated, you can just do the schedule trigger. And once you put that on, you can have it run every 30 minutes, every hour, whatever you want, as long as you have enough prompts loaded up. And here is our Google Doc that we're basing this automation off. Extremely simple. Mine's just called C-Dance. You can call it whatever you want. It just has prompt, status, and URL in the three cells right there. Yours need to be identical to that to make it work with my template. And then you just need to keep the sheet one still named sheet one. So once that's all good, you'll see right here we have the status. This one says done because I did run it once testing. And then we have these for to do. So what you're going to want to do is put all your prompts in column A. You can put hundreds. I highly recommend you use something like ChatGPT where you give it a few examples, or you create your own little automation, which I have in some of my videos, that just spews out prompts for the type of videos you want. If you want to do ASMR videos, for example, feed it a few good ones and tell it to come up with 50 more, and it will come up with them here, and then you can run this automation to generate them all into videos. So, for example, this one, we had this prompt right here, a similar one to the one I used in VO3, and then when you click this, this is the output that we got. So I think VO3 did a little bit better with something like that prompt. However, I'm interested to see how these two prompts work. So I'll be running them now and explaining how my automation works and what you need to do to set it up. And I don't have any sponsors, but I do want to plug my newsletter. You can subscribe with your email on adrian.co slash subscribe. Also my x, x.com slash mentor. I've been posting a lot on there. 
and then also my AI tools updates telegram which we just hit 600 followers so thank you so much okay now I'm gonna go node by node on the automation on all the things you will need to update to make it work for you so once you have it imported the first node you're gonna to want to go to is the Google Sheets node now the first thing you're gonna to need to do is connect your Google account and if you're doing it on NNN's website, it's super simple. If you're self-hosting, I'll click, I'll have a video below showing you how to create your own authentication. Once you connect that account, you're gonna make sure that it's connected to the right document and at the end that all this is matching. So we're gonna do a sheet within document, get rows, my sheet's called C Dance. Um, the sheet in it, in the file is called sheet one and then the column is status so make sure it loads your columns and I go to the status column and then I see it say value to do so it's going to pick everything that you have as to do here so you're going to need to label this uh, corresponding uh, to the prompt as to do if you want it to run and then the last thing we're doing is adding this filter and that is to return only the first matching row because we're only going to be doing one video at a time so this is probably the hardest uh, step to do uh, but once you figure that out, link that to the document. And if you keep all the variables the same, everything else should work. Now, the next one we have is the HTTP request node, and that is going to file AI. So I'm going to open that up right now. And then here is the documentation for this page, uh, just on the API. We're using HTTP right here. And then here is everything you need to know. All I did was copy this URL, by the way, if... Um, you're new and trying to figure this out and how I did it and I swapped it with the last one that I had and then the most important thing you're going to need is this authentication you're going to do, do generic credential type header auth and then you're going to enter your file key right here so how that works is you're going to add another authentication right here name it FAL right there put the name as authorization and then for the value you're going to do it just like this. It's going to be key, space, and then your API key. To get your API key, you're going to need to go to your profile, get that. That's going to link to your file account. Make sure you have credits there. Once you do that, it will be sending the request to your account to create the video. And then it will take the money out of your account when the video is done. And you can see my request tab right here. I did this first one about an hour ago, and I showed you the results. Uh, and it's all routed through my account. So once you have that, you're pretty much good to go. Everything is super simple from there on. All you're gonna have to do is make sure you have these three settings on every single HTTP request node that you have. So we have this one. This is just generating the video. As you can see here, we're sending the body. We're sending the prompt, which we got from the sheet. Then we're sending the aspect ratio of nine by 16. This is something you can change. If you want it to be landscape, just do 16 by 9 instead of 9 by 16 and then boom that's solved and then over here on the bottom uh, yep right here you can see you can also do a resolution one or a duration one if you want to change those but I just kept mine on the defaults so once we get out of there we just have this wait node this wait node is 30 seconds it generally will take longer than 30 seconds and then we're doing a git node which same thing, all you're gonna to need to do here is make sure that this part is good. We're taking that status URL from the last one and making sure uh, we're waiting till it's completed to moving forward. So then we have this if statement, nothing has to be done here. It's just checking if it's completed or not and then looping every 30 seconds. Once you do that, you're gonna to need to get the URL. Uh, for that, you need to have the FAL credentials uh, right here. Uh, the response is being given from the previous node so you don't have to do anything there. Then we have the add audio. We're using a function called MM Audio, which is through FAL, and it does cost money, but it is super cheap. I think it's like a half of a cent uh, per generation. So this, all it's doing is we're sending it over the video, video URL that we got that was the generation on CDance. We're sending it the same prompt for the audio, so it's super simple. If you wanted to, you could create another column for your audio prompts if your audio prompts need to be a little bit different generally works pretty well just with the video prompt there and then this is creating the audio same thing we have this little loop so it's going to wait and loop through until it's completed and it's super simple because this status right here all you need to do is connect your fell uh, credentials and then the git video all you need to do is connect your credentials 
And then finally on the last step, all we're doing is connecting to that same sheet. So make sure it's connected to that same sheet, mapping each column manually, uh, matching on row number. And if this part doesn't auto populate, you're just gonna drag this row number variable into this box so that it updates the correct row, the one that we pulled from in the beginning. It's now gonna be status done, so it doesn't run this again when you do it a second time. And then the URL is gonna be popped in here so that when you see it right here, you get your result. So the idea is you could run it 10 times. It will create you those 10 videos. You could just download them and do whatever you want. That's the complete explanation and it's super simple. Pretty much all you have to do is connect your Google account and connect your file account. And now I'm gonna be running it and showing you some results. All right, so I'm just gonna hit test workflow here and it's going to get that video idea. It's gonna wait for it to generate. So I'll be back when it's done. All right, the automation finished running. You can see I actually ran it twice. Uh, there's two videos. The first one turned out, or the middle one right here, turned out a little weird. So I'll just be showing you the polar bear result because I thought it was a lot better. As you can see, it also has the sounds that we added. And it looks relatively realistic. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow my email newsletter, and I'll see you guys later.